we had like a lot of people on in one second there. So it's great to see everybody. Uh, it's nice to see all these smiling faces with our teammates that are here. Uh, Joyce, this is going to be a fun night, guys. We, we've got a lot of great things planned for you. I think it's going to be fast moving. We've got guest appearances uh, from some of our people who will be jumping on with us, some of our fellow unfranchised owners. We've got some great training from multiple different trainers uh, that you're going to have. I'm Jim Winkler. I get to be the, the host tonight uh, of this, so that'll be fun. I see my name says Market America. I'll have to change that to Jim Winkler because um, I am Captain Market America, as Cullen knows, but I am not uh, Market America. <laughs> Cullen saw me once in my Captain Market America outfit I at did. a regional. So I is did. Lee. But with that being said, I'm going to move quick because we have a lot to cover and we really want to get it to you. So I'm going to share my screen. Do us a favor. Tell us where you're from as you come on uh, with us. We'd love to know uh, where you're at. We may ask you some questions in the chat throughout the time. Uh, we're doing this as well. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen. And uh, there we have it. And I'm going to jump right into a couple things to lead this off before I get to my esteemed teammates. Um, well, what is this all about? And, and where do we come from, you know, with this? Everything we're talking about now with retailing, a big part of that uh, has come, we've had a big presence uh, on training on retail. I'm going to talk about that throughout the years, especially the last year. But a big part of what we're talking about tonight came because we were looking to, for ways to get people to the convention who wanted to be there, who might have been struggling a little bit. And one of the things that came up was, boy, if people could retail their way, it would make a big difference. So we put, we put a lot of focus into how can we get people retailing more, doing more. And, and I got to tell you, by the way, and uh, it's vital to understand getting to this 30-year event, which will be live, is vital for you. Um, it, it is the, If we could give you the number one thing any of us on this team would say, we'd say, make sure you get that planned. Uh, my, my last trans house, some people said, I booked my flight today. Uh, I did this, I did that, and that's perfect. That is what you need to do. And what I would tell you is make sure you go into unfranchise.com and go down to the this right here where it says, you have the, the why, we have the how. And what that is, that is our site that's been put together, which includes everything from event info to the VIV, VVIP information, uh, to the hotels and flights, to the deals and guides. And by the way, hotels and flights, who was it, guys? It was a Bonnie Philo, I think, who said she saved like $300 by using the codes uh, that the company provided. So make sure you look at this. There's codes to give you discounts on airlines and great deals on the hotels as well, as well as the corporate tour with that. And remember, uh, something I wanted to, to remind everyone, we're going to have the trade show on Sunday, uh, our product expo. So make sure if you're booking that flight out, you do that later Sunday because we'll have the corporate tool, tour, we'll have the product expo, and uh, you want to be able to, to go to those. I'm going to tell you they're going to be spectacular, and a lot of breakouts will be going on during that time uh, as well. So, so what led to all this? this? This little thing right here was a survey that was put together, and we sent it out, and Everybody who's watching right now had the ability to respond to this, but only some people did. Well, when we did this and when we sent it out, one of the things we found out was that a lot of people said, you know what, I'm struggling if I'm going to get there. But over 90% said, if I could find a way to retail my way, I would do it. And we said, okay, let's go to work. Let's figure out what we can do. What categories would they be interested in? Would it be health and wellness, skincare, cosmetics, jewelry, whatever it may be. And you can see again, certain categories really popped out. We said, okay, great. Now we know where to, to, to focus on this uh, as we do it. And then we had uh, an incredible presentation with uh, our, our senior executive vice president and co-founder, Lauren Reidinger, who really led that. And uh, with our teammates that you see here and 
went through everything on how to do that. Uh, Lisa Martin did an incredible job talking about Shop Live during that and how to use it. Um, all the teammates pitched in with so many different things. This, this is one I want to tell you, if you missed it, darn. But you know what? You don't have to miss it because we have it available on YouTube as a, a replay. And, and what I would tell you with that is make sure you're utilizing these replays. To me, these are some of the simplest, easiest ways to catch up on information uh, that you can. And here's one for the Retail Your Way to MAIC. You can go, you can find that on Market America's YouTube. I'm hoping I'm not wearing the same shirt. It's a different one. Good. I got checked. I forgot to check these pictures out. Um, consistency. <laughs> yeah, consistency. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. <laughs> Another one we did, which um, was really eye-opening is uh, our team leaders were really training me on this, <clears throat> utilizing your online quizzes and questionnaires and how to generate sales with that. Well, there's a, if you say, well, I'm not sure how to do that, Jim, I want to retail my way there. How do I do it? Watch the video. It's brilliant what these guys do and have put together. Um, and that was what we did on December 13th. But if you go to Market America, I just typed in quizzes. This was the first video that, that popped up for us. Um, how about the unfranchised marketing workshop uh, that we did where we went through how to move samples and all the different things? That video is there. So I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is there's a lot of ways to get information that you already have and can use. And we want to make sure you take advantage of that. And some people said, well, I, I don't know how to do Shop Live, Jim. You know? I, so I went and I typed shop live in the Market America channel and up pop, this is a portion of it, up pop, I think 20 different tutorials. Um, and, and some are as recent as uh, a, a couple of weeks ago. Some are from when we came out with the product. But, but one of the things I do know is if you want to learn, you can learn by just going and taking a little bit of time. Even if you want to learn Chinese, we have Chinese simplified right there uh, as well to be able to do it. So we've got, I think we have it in Spanish as well. So it, it, it's really taken care of. And, you know, that is what, what I put in uh, as a starting point to, to where we're going um, with this. And what I want to make sure of now, I want to end my slideshow so that I'm not sharing this with you, but I'm going to put... I don't want to lose this. Hold on. Tell me I won't end this presentation. Yep, you've you've ended it, Jim. You're good. I have ended my slideshow. Oh, hell <laughs> yep. I think I almost clicked the wrong button. <laughs> AC to the rescue, uh, as always. So, so what happened from that retail experience that we had? You know, when we talked about, we said, okay, as a team, we're going to learn shop live. Now, I'm going to tell you, the first person to put her hand up and say, uh, I don't know how to do it was Lauren Reidinger. And it's, you know, that was a lot of courage in front of all of our team to say that. And I had to admit that the last time I did it was with Dennis Franks. So that was quite a while ago as well and had not done it. And a number of our teammates said, you know, we're not as good at it as we, we, we should be. Now, I will say Lee uh, and Lisa, uh, Dr. D, you guys have used it, but Lee and Lisa really led the way for us with this. I know others of you have used it, but really helped us. We've done five shop live presentations since then uh, and really had some, some great things uh, that have occurred as we, we've done it. And we're going to have some people who are going to share some feedback. We're going to talk about that and about what they learned. But and we learned a lot, didn't we team, as we did these shop lives? Um, good and bad, we picked up things. And, and we're an experiential business meaning you, you've got to do things to, to really be able to understand them the, the right way. But, but Colin, I'd like to ask, you know, tell you what we're looking for now is not just with shop live tracking, but even with home product presentations uh, or Zoom presentations or shop live, we want to learn what people are doing, to re how much they're retailing, right? Absolutely. It's super important that we're getting the feedback from the field, uh, each and every one of you uh, on exactly what you're doing uh, in, in the regards of not only you personally, but within your organization and within your area as a greater uh, area uh, exercise, I would say, 
And as you can see on this, a beautiful slide that uh, Andrew Chi put together, all you got to do is take your cell phone out and you can scan that QR code uh, or put that bit.ly in, or we, I think we also put it into the chat. So there's multiple ways here to make sure everybody is getting to this resource. And it's, it's basically tracking what you are doing or you and your team or area are doing. And it's great because the form works two different ways. The first way is, do you have an event that's coming up in the future? And then you just answer yes to that question. And then we can filter those results. And we're looking to see who has some upcoming events. And if there's any way any one of us have, as uh, you know, university leaders or you know, within the GMTSS, or how can we support that if it works within different people's calendars? Uh, that's one way. But then the second way is the tracking form is also to track your results. We want to hear what the aftermath uh, was and what the results were, how many people showed up, what went great, what do you need to tweak, you know, it's all in the form, but you just got to fill out the form. We're going to be tracking this on an ongoing, every day we look at this form, you guys, to see what all of you guys are doing. So you got to make sure that this tracking sheet is getting out to all of your teammates. So everybody's giving us the feedback and we can track results. And we definitely, we want to be able to acknowledge a few people and we're going to be acknowledging a few people tonight who have filled out the form and are taking some massive action and getting massive results. But hold on, Colin, though. I, I thought I heard something on this. I thought I heard you say that we want to know because maybe people will pop onto their events. So you're saying someone could be doing a, a home presentation and they might be doing it on, on weight management, TLS, and all of a sudden Melanie's going to pop on and, and maybe she's on for five minutes talking about a few things, saying hello in their home uh, or on a Zoom or a shop live. That's what you're saying. That's right. We're going to do our very best. And whether it's one of us or maybe it's one of our coaches within the division, yeah. somebody who's really cranking their business, you guys, is how can we support the field? All of you guys. Absolutely, Jim. Super exciting. Oh, that is. I, I want to make sure people heard that because we're looking to support you in any way uh, that we can do that. Now, there may not always be able to do it, but we're sure going to try, aren't we, to be able to pop on. And even if it's a short pop, pop on, it just adds credibility to what you're doing already. Uh, and doing a, a, a great job with. So that'll be very, very cool. And you can continually fill out this form, correct, Colin? So if you have an event next week, you can fill it out. And if you have an event after that, you can fill it out again. That's right. Because if you've got an event coming up in the future and it's two weeks from now and you put it in this, well, that is, you know, is it a future event? You're going to put yes on there. So we know to look at that for a future. But then you need to come back in and fill it out and put what your results were. And then we'll know a future event. You're going to put no. And then we're going to know that the event's passed. And here's the results from that event. Absolutely. So what if I do like three events? Do I fill it out separate each time? Yeah, fill it out I'm, separate. I'm after this. I'm yeah. Gonna have, I'm going to have Lee Raider. I'm going to have Cullen jump on my, my, my calls with my team. So the more I do it, the more I can ask for help. Right. That's right. That's right. You know, and some people are doing shop live. Some people have, you know, done home events. Some people have done little, little, uh, um, clubhouse event at, you know, a little community that they live at, you know, there's all kinds of different ways that people are doing it. The great news is, is people are having success no matter which way. So as we all know, the key is just to take action, right? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Thank you, Colin, for explaining that and uh, getting that out. Hopefully everybody took a picture of it. Uh, if you, and let your, I think you said something important. He said was let your teammates know as well. Uh, to do this. So we really want to get the, the, the retail flying for everybody with this. Now, with that, you might be saying, well, I wonder, you know, can I increase sales? We're going to talk about ways to do different things tonight, whether it's inviting or closing or following up different things. Um, can I do a shop live? You know, I've, I know you guys have done some, but you guys, you know, you got more experience than me. You know how to do this stuff. You know, you got AC there who can coach you through anything. Um, can I do it? So what we do is we have some guests on with us tonight and we're going to hear from those guests. And uh, as we go to talk about the, some are going to be home events, some are going to be shop live. Uh, as I introduce you, I'm going to ask you to, to give us a little background and speak a little bit about what, what you did in a couple minutes. But Maliva, you had, a, as I look at the results, over $980 in sales um, two follow-up workshops book, the makeup application, skincare. Tell us about what this this was to do that. Sure. And Thanks so much way, for having congratulations. me. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank right. you. New mom there. New mom. 
my little eight week old baby. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it was actually my first in person event since having my son. So it felt so good to get back in person. Um, brief backstory the woman um, is a brand new partner and she was a former co worker of my husband's. We met for dinner. She said she wanted a makeup consult. She became a customer, had her friends to get together. That um, between those two workshops last year did over $3,000 in sales. I went back to her and said, uh, You should probably look at the business because I could keep all the money or we could share it. Um, she decided to partner. It was a, a bit of a process getting her to partner. So this was her launch event that her friend hosted. Um, there were six guests. Um, everyone purchased and we themed, we used the, the basics of the Wellness 101 with the health survey, but we did a theme called Spill the Tea on Wellness just for something a little extra fun. Uh, and so we used our shopping annuity teas um, as display. So everyone got to mix up their own tea. As they sipped their tea, I had them fill out the wellness survey. While they did that, I set up a few things. And then we just talked about the daily essentials and I took notes straight from the Wellness 101 video. And then we went into gut health because all of the women were really excited about skin and how to support their skin from the inside out. And so we focused on aloe, uh, probiotics and our digestive enzymes. And the neat thing is I gave them all tasting cups, like our isotonics measuring cup. So everyone had their own. And as they were filling out the survey, I sampled out the daily essentials for everyone to try. Then we talked about it. Then I sampled out the strawberry kiwi aloe for everyone to try. Then we talked about it. If they asked any questions that I wasn't sure about, I had the website pulled up. Uh, so I just showed them the FAQs and the science from the website. And at the end, we took orders. It was that simple. Well, you, you just gave a lot of information in a couple minutes. Believe it. So, so you will want to look for the replay on this because she said so many powerful things uh, in, in a few minutes. But I did want to state, you said the T's were the T's, right? The T's yeah. were the T's. All right. That was, uh, that was special. I, I, I love what you just said and what you did. Six people, $980 uh, in sales. Congratulations. That's a tremendous job. Way to get back in the homes and doing it again. Congratulations again uh, on your uh, newborn and uh, keep, keep leading the way. Okay. Thank you. And one more thing I do have to say is that the woman that hosted said she wanted to see the marketing plan because she was like, for how much I spent, I should look at this because I have friends and family. And I think everyone here at the event should look at the plan. So that's our next step as well. Perfect. And you had someone else host it other than the person doing it. Mm -hmm, exactly. That so what those through little the tips I heard you say twice as you were going through that. You got um, it. That got someone else involved. So very good. You know, that was amazing. I'm a Jim ABC pattern. I'm just gonna yeah. throw it out, right? Because she went back to somebody, if I heard her right, that had a successful $3,000 event and that ABC that thing out. That is where it's at, man. Way to go. Yeah, perfect. Great job. All right, we are gonna move to our next guest and we have with us uh, Vina Pearson Hutchins today. And Vina had, I'll let you go through it, Vina, but over $700 in sales with four guests in attendance. So why don't you... Tell us a little bit about, well, you, and then 10 guests and 700 to 1,000 in sales. Were these both in-person events? So thank you again for inviting me on, but I am so excited that I actually did this alongside of my newest business partners. So what we were doing is retelling them to where? To, to Greensboro. So we were, I was really excited to show them how easy this was because both of these partners that I worked with actually partnered because of the product and because of the skincare products. So we simply did clinics. We did two different clinics, um, not parties, but clinics, because why? It's a mindset when people feel like they're actually doing something that's going to help them physically or mentally, or um, they're not just playing. This is something that's serious business. So what we did is I had both of these ladies, and this was two different parties, by the way, both of these ladies uh, sent out the skincare quiz ahead of time. And here's what we did. We used, we utilized every single tool. So they sent out the skincare quizzes and then we told them everyone that filled that out is going to receive a gift. And the gift was the sample. 
Because why? Now we have them in the marketing queue, right? Where they're going to get not only get this product, but now they're going to be marketed with. And then we have one person that was in North Carolina and she's brand new. So this was her launch. That's Donna Parker. This was her launch. So I actually did what you guys are getting ready to do. And I just came on. I just came on the screen and we tandemed and we talked about it. And not only did these products lead to $700, but then we started Beauty Blend. So they got a taste of not only the skincare, but now we're talking about supplementation. And here's what was really cool. The best part of this entire thing is that now her party, Donna's party, has led to people interested in partnering. So again, not only did we do an amazing retail, not only is she working on getting to Greensboro, but now she's going to be working with bringing partners with her, which I thought was fabulous. And the second one, we did the same exact thing. And with the second one, again, sent out that quiz, made sure that they received a sample, and here's the thing, that also led to extra parties. So both of them want to do clinics, I'm sorry, extra skincare clinics. And not only that, they're interested in partnering. They're interested in looking at the business. And this is what's so exciting is that now they're not only going to realize they're getting a check, but also now they're taking partners to Greensboro. So both of these were just, again, that ABC pattern, which I absolutely love, but I use the tools. So. The second one, which was with Nicole Mothershed, we were in person. I was able to be there. We were in person. The first one was in person. I just had to come on like the wizard, right? On the TV. Uh, but the second one, I was able to be there and it was just, it was so exciting. I'm going to tell you, there's nothing like being in person. Absolutely nothing. So, so we so really enjoyed it. So that-, yeah, that Let me make sure I got it right. The first one, you were, you, you came on the screen, but the people were all together you were talking to. That's correct. They were the all there. The second one was just a total in-person one. That That's very right. cool and very cool to use it, do it both ways. The other thing I wanted to ask you a question on was you said you did the skin quizzes yeah. and Lee could probably tell me this, but did, did you have them registered as a PC before they went to do those quizzes? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and then when they did show up, here's what was the beautiful thing. We were able to pull up what the quiz which the quiz is amazing, what the quiz actually recommended to what they were able to experience during the, the skincare clinic. And they could order right then and there. They were able to order right then and there, which was really awesome because there was no waiting. So now they have a PC. So it just, I mean, it was, the tools are amazing when you utilize them. Uh, that's perfect. Congratulations on both of those. Uh, generating a ton of retail. You, you're doing a great job. Uh, very proud of, of what you're doing. Hopefully you're going to have about four more people coming to Greensboro with you. Oh, we have plenty. Everyone's coming to Greensboro. We're super excited about oh, it's it. Gonna be wonderful. It's wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Next, we are going to uh, speak with Vicki Hildebrand. And Vicki, whoa, Vicki. Vicki had over $2,000 in sales. Vicki, I believe this was an in-person event, am I right? Yes, it was. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, what we did, it, this is something we actually wanted to do before COVID hit. So we actually got together and this was with our group in central Kansas and we're all rural communities. Okay. But uh, Trish uh, Harriman Bushman and of course, Jeanette Hike has helped me with this. Uh, we actually rented a um, Actually, it was our community center in our small town. And that was their responsibility then to go ahead and go ahead and decorate the table for the skincare event. It was put your face to bed. That's what we were doing that, that night. Of course, you know, we always ask people to over-invite and you always have people that don't make it that night. But we actually had 26 guests there that night. Wow. And we had a, a little bit of an event where we went ahead and started out with, uh, you know, a mocktail and did the beauty blend. And once we started the actual presentation, I had a slide presentation, because it was totally live. And what we did then is we went ahead and uh, I started out with 
we're going to start by cleansing your face. We did talk about the the a mocktail a little bit. Trish did and told a little bit about all the substance for health and nutrition. We went ahead then and uh, started out with them cleansing their face. I showed them how to do it. Then every dis every distributor was responsible for their own products for their table, and then they would give every one of their guests the product, and they would go ahead and cleanse their face. And we just went step by step procedure after that. And uh, did we have, do we have some things we maybe need to change? Yeah, but it turned out to be our first live event. We were very happy with that many people. We had, we actually had, a, uh, at this point, we have $2,200 in retail so far sold among all of us. And of course, that will help a lot of the distributors that were actually going or planning on going to convention, help them get to convention too. It sure will. And I love your, your creativity, putting a group together like that and figuring out how to do it, Vicki. And you know, that's like you said, did you do some things wrong? Probably, but you know what? That's how we get better, right? By trying something Truly. and doing it. So great job with that. And congratulations on your success. Thank you. Love the teamwork there. Way to go. It, it is. It's, it's great teamwork. Someone had asked um, how long the events were. Um, let, let me just, before I, I get to Vicki, let me just ask real quick, if I can. Uh, Vina, how long were your events? Yeah, our, both of them. The one that was live actually was a little longer because we all like to chat and be together. Yeah. So that was about an hour and a half. But the actual presentation wasn't more than 45 minutes. So it's and everyone was trying the to networking make afterwards. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Vicki, how about you? Ours was exactly that too. I mean, it, it was, we, we had everybody come between 6.30 and 7. By 7 o'clock, we started our our put the face to bed that literally we were done within an hour, 45 minutes on that time period. And I will say we did try two masks. We let them have two masks on. So we actually did, we did mostly LDV products, but we did also skin intelligence masks on one side because I wanted to give them some price differentials. Yeah. I also had price tags that they already had on their table. So they knew exactly how much everything costs. Uh, and uh, then we did actually hand and arm massage with the LDV lotion because that's a great IBV product. Wow. <laughs> but but most it, ours massage. was done in, in yeah. Well, they all <laughs> had a good time doing massage. it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is great. Great job. All right. Let's, uh, you know, our next person we're going to, going to talk to, uh, Vicki Nevesky, Vicki, you know, Vicki's in my organization, but I didn't mention Vicki. So Vicki, people saw your post you put on and wanted you to be able to speak. Now, Vicki, uh, has, uh, never done a shop live before, right, Vicki? And then you were hearing about well, what, what happened. You tell me. Yeah, I'll, t I'll share my story. <clears throat> I actually tried shop live last fall, um, but I tried it all the wrong ways. I put six or eight products all around my head. I invited one guest, and then I was trying to carry on a conversation with one person where they were typing in the chat. It was an awful experience, but it wasn't the technology. It was that I wasn't using it correctly. <laughs> So when I, I, I really it. wanted to see a successful one and I'm so grateful for Modis because they led the way and started doing those shop lives every week. And I was able to hop on with um, Jatia Sanchez and she did an amazing job. And that's where I learned how to do it. I couldn't, even watching the videos, I had to see one to see what, what worked. And she did one product at a time and then she'd take it down just like QVC and she'd demonstrate it. And so I thought, what the heck, I'm going to do it. So last Friday, I decided about an hour before and said, I'm doing a shop live in an hour <laughs> and tried sending messages out through Messenger to people who were on and, you know, just thought, whatever, I'm going to just try to get some people. And uh, it was it was funny. I mean, I did putting my face to bed. So it's kind of funny that that was the topic that Vicki used too for theirs. But I mean, I held up the products wrong. You couldn't see the label. I kept going off the screen because it was a mirror image and I didn't understand <laughs> So that was, you know, my first one and I learned so much from it and, you know, it was, it was fun. And I had notes, I have notes on my mirror in the bathroom that say like what the couple points are about each product that I wanted to mention and, you know, wash my face and told them all, showed them what I do. And uh, so then I thought, well, I'm doing one two days later because there are people who couldn't get on on short notice. So I did one two days later and it was much smoother and even much more fun. And so, you know, just, I encourage you to get out there and try it. Um, it's, 
you're not going to learn it by just sitting back and watching. You have to actually get out there and do it and um, find a team, find some other people who are trying it and learn from each other. I think one of the things you told me, Vicki, too, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you there for a second, but I think one of the things you told me, and I didn't want you to miss this, is you went from, you had done one a while ago that you said was horrible, to making a decision to do one in an hour, to doing one two days later, and then you told me you just held a coring for your team oh, yeah. on how to do shop live. So now you're the shop live. I forgot about that. Team. That was last night. Yeah, we did a coring over Zoom and taught, I taught how to do shop lives. And then we had one of the other people who um, hasn't ever done one actually share her screen and talked her through setting it up. And then she actually held it and we got on and it was a great experience. And we all, you know, learned a lot from that. So yeah, definitely get with your team and start working together and make a team on, on the marketing app so that you can invite people, you know, people on your team to shop live. You know, great attitude, Vicki, great job. I, I hope everyone listening is saying, well, if Vicki can jump on and do it, I'm going to give it a shot too and see what happens. It, it really is tremendous. So thank you for being on with us as well. Thanks, Jim. All right, next up, and this lady needs no introduction. You've probably seen her once in a while on, on stage, but I'll introduce her anyway. Tina Rose, who had over $300 in sales. Now, Tina, did you do it through Shop Live, right? I did it with Shop Live. Tell yeah, us about and it. Was it was actually, it was my newest, one of my newest US UFOs that um, forced me out of my comfort zone. Now, it wasn't my first shop live because I had done one um, back in the day when they, when it first came out, because it was part of the um, Nutrimetrics challenge. And, you know, I had to go for the challenge. So I did one, but um, it was very awkward. It's quite the learning experience. Um, I can't even say I enjoyed it. And so this time when my UFO came to me and said, I want to do a shop live, I want to reach, she already bought a ticket to convention, but she wanted to retail her way so she can get her airfare and, and her lodging. And what can I say? I couldn't say no. And um, she said she had been watching all the videos. She's learning. I, she said, we'll do it together. I said, yes, let's do it. So I started learning and practicing. And um, lo and behold, you know, it's not like a Zoom that we could have co-hosts. So when she said we would do it together, it's like, no, I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> but she was, uh, she was monitoring the chat and um, she invited a, a lot of people and put it on Facebook and she tagged me. And I realized, well, if, if she tagged me and she's telling people to um, private message her with their email address, then they're going to think that they're her customers and a lot of them were my customers. So I had to put it on Facebook that I was doing a live stream to get in touch with me. And all of the UFOs around the country <laughs> wanted to join my team. So I'm having everybody join my team. And <laughs> we had people from all around the country, UFOs. And I said, well, invite your guests. So now the pressure was on and I was really nervous. And we came up with a topic. And I guess gut health is, is the way to go these days because our topic was um, optimal wellness begins in the gut. And but I wanted to keep it simple. And I was planning on it being about 45 minutes long. But we um, when she asked me to do it, I said, we got to set the date right away because, you know, we're just going to do it. And we set the date for like four days later. And it was June 2nd. And it was at 730. And then lo and behold, Lauren and Andrew end up doing a shop live at eight o'clock and inviting me as the VVIP. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I've got to see how they do it. <laughs> But it was the day after um, Dr. Tamara did her shop live. So I actually got on hers and watched her and got some tips. And I, I ended up doing about two or three practice sessions just by myself. So I could figure out where to place mm -hmm. um, yeah. the, the pictures for people to, to click on and what website, because I wanted to teach them um, how to start with the isotonics. And the only uh, products I, I did was the Isotonics Daily Essentials. And I did the uh, packets as well as the kit because I said we had to start gut health, we had to start with a foundation. And you need a foundation of good health and, and, and um, getting the nutrients in. So we had to start with the Daily Essentials and I went through the OPC and the calcium and the B complex, um, each of those. And then I had the two kits up there and then I was able to take them off, bring up the next product and I did aloe, digestive enzymes, probiotics and NutriClean fiber powder. 
and, and and it wasn't three hundred dollars in sales. I realized I made a mistake when Brandy asked me. It, that night it was three hundred BV. Oh, three hundred BV. So it was, it was three hundred BV um, that night. And then uh, since then we've actually um, sold uh, more. And it's interesting. We we sold three um, daily essentials kits right away. And then we sold um, a few more um, boxes of the daily essentials packets. But that night, nobody ordered the gut health. But a lot of questions came in for my um, UFOs and myself. And we've since sold more um, it, it, for the that gut is health. Great. And I give you uh, all the props for, for sticking your neck out there, going it, after it and doing it. It was an adrenaline rush. So, I, you know, I, I was so nervous. and. And it went really well. I was so impressed. Um, I really enjoyed it. So now I can't wait to do another one. I want to do one on my my skincare re regime regime. And I and I said because everybody was you know asking me about that. And I said, well, skin skin begins in the gut too. And once I started taking care of my gut, and it felt like the first time I was on stage, Jim. It was like, you know, I was a nervous wreck, and I never thought I could do it. But it was such an adrenaline rush. I couldn't wait to get back up on there. <laughs> love it. I love it. Well, you're doing. That, that is tremendous. You're doing great. Keep doing them. Keep teaching them because obviously it, it's working for you and working for the team. Cullen? Yeah, and I just want to say a huge thanks because I know many people contacted me, Tina, uh, and know that you opened it up and people are able yeah. to get in. So huge thanks to everybody across you know North America or the world who is able to plug in and take advantage of that. So we appreciate you. Yeah, Thank we you. do. You're, lead, you're leading the way for a lot of people. Uh, which is which is tremendous. So thanks for being on with us too tonight. Really appreciate you. My pleasure. All right. So you know th this is the, that was fun listening to all these success stories. But some of you you know are, are sitting there and you're thinking, well, that's great for them, but I don't, I can't get anybody to come to mine, right? You know, I don't know how to invite. I don't know how to do things like that. So luckily we have an expert. We brought in an expert. Lee Rader is going to take you through how to invite people to presentations. So Lee, let, let's go at it. Yes, thank you so much. And I don't know about you guys, but I learned really early in my um, franchise career that a lot of successful events, actually, I had to do work before the event and after the event. So the event itself is just a piece of it. And what I found is really how you invite people makes a huge difference on the success of your event. So I have a few tips here that I've learned over the years from probably a lot of leaders in this company, actually, to be honest with you. And the first thing that I always teach everybody is start with a names list of at least 30 people. Now, if you have trouble thinking of names, we have name joggers that you can find just start writing down people's names. And later on, you can decide which event that you're gonna invite that person to. Once you have that list of 30 people, then I want you to kind of categorize them and, and think of who you wanna reach out to first. And then what you wanna do is you wanna invite using a phone call or a text. Personalize that message. I can't just throw it out. No, sometimes. no, no, no. In fact, I don't know how many people I, I teach this and then they're like, I'm just going to create a Facebook event and I'm going to have all these people come. But it doesn't feel the same, right? I mean, that's like a mass message and people just don't feel as special. So what I want you guys to do is just think of a VIP event, a VIP clinic. I don't call them parties either, Vina, because I don't know. Parties are fun, but events or clinics, it just kind of sounds a little more bougie, I guess, right? So don't send that mass message to a group of friends. Don't do like a group text. Don't do a group Facebook message. Think of how to personalize it individually. The other tip that I'm going to give you guys is have two events scheduled. If you have two events scheduled and you call someone and the first date doesn't work for them, chances are the other date will work for them. So you'll have two events full of people and your success is just going to be even greater. The other thing is be excited. If you are calling them, they can hear excitement in your voice. Call in smiling because that's the first thing I would always teach my staff is when you answer the phone, smile. People can hear your smile and it's so true. If you're excited, they're gonna be excited and they're gonna wanna come. Now, I always teach 
three touches. Okay, so first touch is you're going to personally call or text. I like to text people and be like, hey, can I call you? And they're like, or can you call me when you get a chance? And they do right away because they're like, what does she want? What does she, what does she, you know, I don't tell them what. And, um, and then I'll let them know, ask them what they're doing on the date of the first event. So I'll call my friend and say, hey, what are you doing on Thursday? You know, well, usually I'll say, how are you? You know, I only have a minute. What are you doing on Thursday? And just wait for them to answer. Right. I haven't told them what it is yet. And they're like, well, actually nothing. I'm like, great, because guess what? You are coming over to my house. And I actually stole some pictures on the side here. You'll see from events that some of the speakers tonight were talking about. I took these all from our different Facebook groups. And then just simply say, because I'm having a spa night, a skincare clinic, a wellness night, a girl's night, a putting my face to bed, you know, whatever it is that you want to call it. I make up names for all the same events all the time. Um, it doesn't matter. And then you just want to say, and I wanted to reach out to you because, and just pick one. I'm not going to read all of these. There's probably a lot more, but just make them feel special. I don't start explaining the event. I think a lot of times people get in trouble because then they'll start like explaining what's going to happen and, and all these different things on, on the event. And people are like, um, okay, just say, you know what? I'm excited. I want you to be there. And then you just let them know that I only have so many spots available. I called you first because you were first on my list. I know that you would love this. Can I put you down for one of those seats? That feels more special, right? Than just sending out that mass message. You can also say, I would love to catch up with you and have you check it out. It would mean a lot to me if you would come. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm finding that people really want to get together right now in person. People are looking for a reason to get out of the house and get with people again. So if these scripts can actually be used for in-person events, online events, Zoom, Shop Live. It doesn't matter what event you're doing, just change up the verbiage a little bit. And then once they say that they're going to come, I'll just say, is there anyone you'd like to bring? You know, if so, let me know tonight before I fill all the spots. A lot of times people want to bring a friend and then you're getting to their network and you're building your, you know, share of customers as well. Or we heard from our guests tonight that what that can lead into as well. And then I just let them know, I'm going to send you all the details in a text or an email. So you don't have to get into all the specifics on the address and stuff like that. Now, the second touch is going to be, you're going to send the details, the address, time, any other details needed. Let them know you will also send a reminder the day before or the morning of um, just to let them know that you're, you know, excited to see them. This can be a flyer or a visual invite. I actually just took a layered invitation from unfranchised.com. You can also get them on getlayered.com. So we already have invitations and you can just put your, um, the time and everything on there. Otherwise, you can just put it in the text with, with this picture if you're not sure how to do that. And then the third touch is, you're going to give that reminder and don't say you're still coming, right? You're going to say, I'm so excited to see you tomorrow night at whatever event, at whatever time. It's going to be so much fun. Can't wait to see you. And that's it, you guys. And like, honestly, with inviting, if you call 30 people and you secure 10, chances are there's going to be maybe five, six to eight people in attendance. A great event is six to eight people. That's all you need. You don't need a huge event for it to be successful. Now, we already have some events in our, our Motives Beauty brand, so you don't have to recreate the wheel. We have PowerPoints. Um, we have our Level Up with Makeup Retail event. This can be done um, with the Fast Start Kit through Motives. And then we also have flyers that come along with that event where it has different packages on there. We have one with our customer costs, and then we also have one with unfranchised costs so that you can see the difference there. So you can see where I just put in um, retail event or level up with makeup as the, the uh, search code or search key, and it came up. We also have a beauty boost retail event. Again, there's a PowerPoint, and there's also um, flyers with 
different packages as well, which helps you close the sale at the end of the event for sure. Now this has um, goes along with all the products that come with our Beauty Advisor application. So not a ton of products, just a handful of products is all you really need to do in an event. We also have one for our skincare line. It's called our All About Skin Retail Event. Same thing, we have a PowerPoint that you can use either on Zoom or in person. And then we also have flyers for that for the customers and the unfranchised cost breakdown as well. And then we do have um, a few things for layered as well. So if you're not sure how to do, sorry, my not going here. <laughs> so if you're not sure how to do a layered event, we also have um, a trunk show guide on how to do that. But you guys like just have fun there. We're finally going. Here's our layered trunk show infographs and you know, just have fun. Like don't, don't stress about it. If you have fun, your guests are going to have fun for sure. That was a, a great presentation. Lee, I, I was taking notes for myself as I was going through it. You said so many good things, but mm -hmm. you know, you started off by saying people don't feel special if they're invited in like a group text or, you know, people are like, well, I texted 10 of my friends. So I saw someone in the chat wrote this and you're so right. I'm sorry. I didn't catch the name of who wrote it, but we're a one-to-one -one business. And the more we make people feel special, uh, the better we, we, we do with that. And you obviously do a great job with that. The tools you're providing, yeah, you and Lisa and the team have put together are out, outstanding. So thank you so much uh, for sharing all that. And if we went, if I went through that kind of fast, we are planning on working on some kind of a guide for everybody with just a breakdown of what I went over. If you're one of those that likes scripts or just likes those tips on one sheet of paper, we are going to work on that for, for everybody. Yeah. I, I, you know, it, one of the things you said, and by the way, we'll have this available in about a week where people can watch it again, or if you, we are streaming on Market America's Facebook page, so you could go right there and watch it again right away. Um, cause you did, you, a lot of you have said so many important things, but you said, you know, we only have so many spots. I thought that was wonderful because it creates a sense of urgency, uh, that I had in my notes. Do you ask them to invite friends? And your next thing was, if you want to bring somebody, let me know. Cause we only have so many spots. Perfect. All right. Let's move into, uh, our, our next speaker and Dr. T, Dr. Tamara. So you're going to walk us through some of the tools we have with health and nutrition, right? You're, oh, Dr. T, you're on mute. Give it to her, Colin. I thought you were gonna give her the. Ah, I got it, I got All it. Right. I've got my mug tonight. It's in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, fantastic, Lee. Thank you so much. And, and we were talking about putting all these things together and having a script and um, having sort of a guide for you, whether it's um, a beauty event that you want to do or a health and nutrition or, or a TLS overview. So we're working on all those tools and resources. But I did want to share some of the things um, for health and nutrition as well. And, you know, this is, as you've heard tonight, it could be a wellness 101 in your home because we're trying to get back to these live events. It could be on a Zoom um, and maybe even a shop live. But I want to remind you that, you know, we have a lot of tools and resources for you available in the unfranchised back office. And these are some new tools that were added up recently basically on how to find them, right? So um, if you are working with some new business partners, I thought it would be helpful uh, to remind you that there are some things that are available that you can share with your new business partners so that they know where to find things so that they're not constantly calling you and saying, hey, how do I find this or that? So there- um, How do I find that though, Dr. Tamara? So that is in the resources, in the support materials. Um, and so that's why I said, if you're bringing on new business partners, cause you as an experienced business partner will know where to find it. You're gonna wanna share that particular tool with some of your new partners, which gives the step-by-step -step directions. So <laughs> I know I get excited. I go a little fast sometimes, um, but just, um, as Lee was sharing with you, and she did the screenshots uh, where they actually live in Unfranchise, um, we have a lot of different product flyers and handouts and infographs and promotional videos. There was, um, it wasn't possible for me to go through all products. So I just picked two products, two of our new ones, 
just to show you what's available for you um, to share. So if you're doing an event, whether it's at a home event or on a Zoom, and even some of these things we have available for Shop Live, there are these PowerPoint presentations on specific products. There are promotional videos. There are infographs that you can share. There's even little postcards that you could send out. And I love the product flyers that share the information on the a description of what the product is. It also gives a sample of the ingredient label because a lot of times when you're doing these kinds of events, I think people like to look at the products. If you're doing a home event, whatever you can have set up on a visual table to touch, feel, pick up, People like to read the label, um, but if you don't have everything on hand, at least if you have some product flyers, or like Maliva said earlier, she had the website pulled up, which is genius, right? We don't have to know everything about every product, but if someone asks you a question and you're not sure of the answer, if you have the website, you can just scoot over and pull up to the frequently asked questions and things like that. So um, we have all of these flyers, handouts, et cetera. So what I love is if you go into your search bar, even on your unfranchised.com, the, the master search bar, not even into the resource tab under support material, and you just put a specific product in or even a topic, for instance, I don't know, you wanted to talk about heart health at your event. If you put heart health into the, the search bar on your unfranchised, not only will all the products come up, but all the resources that are associated with those products under that um, subject matter will pop up for you as well. So I just want you to know where to find things um, because that's an easy way to just put it in that search bar and have them all pop up. So you can reach out and do that. And we have, we're updating this on a consistent regular basis. So hopefully you'll be finding things. Now, what I love to do with myself and, and my, um, my team is we like to take a lot of those handouts and we'll, we'll put them into sleeves. We'll make like a trifold board and then we'll use that over and over again, right? So if we're doing an event, that trifold board's gonna come on out. Actually, this is one that my partner Julianne made and it's just full of information on different products or what the isotonic delivery system. And, and it's just ready to go out on the table for display. If you are doing an event at home, this one was in, actually in a restaurant um, and you wanna just make it fun, but you have all the tools and resources available to share. And I think people like to look at them and touch things. So Lee had mentioned PowerPoints and, and worksheets. We have those as well. These also live under the resources in the support material. We have, for instance, this would be a PowerPoint presentation on digestive health. Um, and along with that, there's a little worksheet on digestive health that shares those products. So if you're doing an event at home, um, for myself, I like to print some things off and put it in a little folder, depending on what the topic is. So if it's daily essentials, and digestive health, I might print off this worksheet on those two things and put it in a folder. Um, but I wanted to show you we have more and we have more coming yet still. So here's one, for example, on children's health. If you wanted to do like a mommy and me group and do a, your topic on children's health. And again, this could be something done live in person, or you can do it virtually on a Zoom and use these PowerPoint presentations to share some of our amazing DNA Miracles products and then use the worksheets either printed or sent electronically to your guests. So just so you're aware, the PowerPoints that are already in existence along with the corresponding worksheets are on all of these topics you see here on your screen. So everything from the essential nine um, to digestive health, stress, sleep, bone and joint. And so you can go ahead and just play around and find some of these resources take a look at, and you don't have to use all the slides and we're, we're making some changes and adjustments as well, but they are fantastic ways to get started, um, again, to share information. Now, we also have right now one plug and play video. So if you're not comfortable popping up a PowerPoint presentation and talking off of it, um, we do have a plug and play video um, that also lives in the support materials on the Isotonics Daily Essentials Kit. It's just under five minutes. It's a great short video that you can very easily just 
click on play and it talks a little bit about nutritional value in foods and foods and maybe why we need to supplement our diets. And then it goes into the four daily essentials products. And we are working on creating some more of these tools and resources for you. So keep a lookout for more to come, but this is available for you now to use as well. Now, what I think that many of you are aware of is um, this new health survey that was circulating out in the field that we've recently updated. This is something that I've used for a long time. I would print it out. I would put it in that folder with those worksheets if I'm doing an in-person event, or if you're doing a, a virtual event, you can send the editable version electronically. Make sure that they fill out the bottom as well with their name, address, and phone number. But this is a fantastic tool to open up the conversation where they're basically telling you what they're interested in hearing about, right? What their health goals are um, that they want to hear more about for themselves, for their friends and family. But capturing that information at the bottom is really important because you want to make sure that you want to be able to register them as a preferred customer. And all of that contact information at the bottom is their name, their address, their phone number, and email. So you can do that. What I love to do is I love to say, you know, I need to collect these because that's how we're going to raffle off our door prize. So if you're doing a home event, you can raffle off a door prize. Um, it could be a trial size sample. It could be, you know, anything that you really want to share with somebody. Um, and if you're doing it virtually, you can actually use the trial size and you can ask them which one interests the, you the most in terms of what we have available in our trial size sample packs. And so we do have the edible one where you can pre-fill in your contact information, your website and so forth, or you could send it through the marketing app directly if you are doing a, a virtual event as well. And I love that we can use any of these samples to either hand out an in-person event, um, I like to buy the 10 packs and give out those samples as the door prize. So they hand in the health survey, they get a sample um, to share, or if they're not sure quite what they're ready to order yet and they have some interest, you can share these as well. Now, I love as we're closing out our events that we, we like to offer really help. And, and I love that we can do this, whether it's skincare or health and nutrition or TLS, but we can offer some individual consultation and help answer some questions. And the way I love to do that is through the quizzes. And you guys heard that earlier, right? Um, so whether it's the skin quiz, the TLS weight loss profile, or the nutrophysical, if your focus is on health and nutrition, using these quizzes as a tool when you're doing these events could be very helpful to give you some guidance as to what interests them the most. And, and where to guide them toward um, your retail through the event that evening. And don't forget, we do have also one last tool that I wanted to share with you when we do an event. Um, one of the tools that I love is to offer a, a coupon code um, you know, for attending the event and they can share that. And usually I'll have it run 10% you know, off for those of you in attendance. It will be available for you through the week to place an order. Um, for anything that you need. And so I always share with them, you know, if you're interested in placing your order, we can chat about that. You can give it to me. You want to make sure you register them as a customer because you also can have them just go right onto the website. And as you heard from some of our guests tonight also sharing, sometimes they want to become a business partner, right? And maybe that fast start kit is where they want to go. But guys, the fortune is in the follow-up truly. And not only I'm talking about the money, I'm talking about in retaining your customers, right? Following up with your customers after these events. And, and sometimes they're not ready to order right then and there, but they have some more questions. And then if they do order products, following up with them to make sure that they received it. And you know that really gives you that lifelong customer that you can generate that relationship with. and. Uh, and have that build share of customer as you go along. So fantastic tools and resources, new things coming on a consistent and regular basis because um, we've been listening to the field. We have some new videos coming out that we're working on and some new PowerPoint presentations and tools. And as you heard, we're gonna be putting together a step-by-step -step direction from how to get started, 
through the invitation process, how to run those events. And I'm gonna actually uh, uh, ex be excited to hear from Melanie next too, who's gonna talk a little bit more about um, closing uh, those sales as well. So very exciting to be back in person and uh, you can do that and you can do it on a Zoom as well or a shop live. Great, great job, Dr. T. And, you know, I, I would, it's wonderful to see the tools you're continuing to come out with and, and bring out for health and nutrition. It's, you know, such a strong area and something that was needed greatly. And thank you for organizing and sharing it. You're really, all of you as a team, what you're doing is allowing the other people to be the experts that you are, because you're putting the tools out there to allow them to, to do that. Uh, and showing them how to get there. It, it, it's so special. And, you know, you talked about quizzes everybody has. I, I do want to remind everyone that your customers get the postcard quiz every time that they order. It comes with a, a QR code leading to any one of those four. So you can always remind your customer to take a look at that when they do, do that right there. Yep, yeah, you got it. That's right. Well, next, I'd like to, to bring up our next superhero, and, uh, you know, when you, when you think TLS, you think Melanie Nelson right now. She is taking it to a new level. And she's also going to talk to us about not only the tools, but then she's going to move into how do you close a sale? Because you can give a lot of information, but if we don't close anything, nothing happens. So I'm turning it over to you, Melanie. Awesome. Thanks, Jim. I really appreciate that. Um, so in following suit with Tamara and... Um, Lee, uh, we also have some incredible tools in TLS that people have been utilizing and getting great success with. Um, the first one is our TLS overview, all downloadable in um, the unfranchised. This is in every market. There is not a market out there that does not have a localized TLS overview. This is about getting people into groups um, or even one-on-one. -on -one. And it's, you know, always do it. For, I always say do it for free uh, because people love the, the giveaway, yeah. um, but it's downloadable in your back office. And I just want to say that, you know, sometimes if I know I am a little short on time, I'll take out a few slides and shorten it up, you know, like, so don't be afraid to customize it to the, the presentation. Now, if you're new or you're kind of nervous about, um, you know, hosting uh, your first home event. Maybe you came on board during COVID and, and you're just not used to that, right? Um, we have TLS home event helpful how to's document that just gives you some insight as to like, this is what you need to be doing and how you need to be prepared. Um, I also love the booklet we put together, how to sell the TLS 30 day jumpstart kit. Um, I cover in this booklet, the three systems for selling this kit. And, uh, you know, whether it's conversational selling or um, an online Zoom or home, home presentation, so that's downloadable. And then we've made, um, I love our creative department. They do such a phenomenal job. When you have a vision for something, they bring it to life. And uh, so I have a document in the back office that you can download that has literally an, an invite to a TLS overview in every season and every theme, you know, whether it's fall or spring or new year's or just the heck of it, um, kind of events. So all you have to do is take a screenshot and then you text it to that person saying they're invited. So you're branded, you look professional, you look amazing with all these incredible tools, you guys. So download the invite images, TLS invite images is how you can bring that document up. So you did all the work, right? You scheduled the event. You put some butts in the seats, you guys. <laughs> now we need to close the sale, right? That is the most important thing to do. And I find that a lot of people get a little bit nervous about asking for that sale. Now I've been selling for since I was 14 years old. So I love closing, always be closing, <laughs> all right? So number one, if you're at a home event or at a Zoom where like Vina, right? She's on a Zoom and everybody was in the home, right? So she was the expert from afar. But she most likely, um, just like all of the people who shared, um, prompted taking orders from the front of the room. So whoever has done the presentation, you know, I always say, oh my goodness, what an incredible night. Give yourselves a round of applause. We're going to take a 15 minute break so you can answer your questions and take your orders um, and, you know, have some snacks. And then you're going to come back and we're going to draw for prizes. 
<laughs> so yeah, you, you, you don't know. just talk the whole time and then say thanks for coming. I gave you a lot of great information. Maybe you'll get something. Yeah, I hope you're interested. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're interested. <laughs> We, we were yeah, talking don't, about this don't as a team say earlier, that. right, Mel? And we said some people can give great information, but they never ask what you just did, which is perfect. Yeah. So it's really important that the presenter says, we're going to take some time. And this time is for you to place orders. Um, you know, and that that is really crucial. Now, if you have a guest in the room, you're going to turn to that guest and you're going to say three sentences and that's it. Why? Because they just sat through a presentation. You don't need to give another one. All right, so number one is thank you so much for attending, Jim. So glad you came. Number two, let's get you started with a free customer account. Now, some of you are in the, in the habit of creating customer accounts prior. Now, if you didn't, then you wanna get them started, right? And number three is which products for you tonight, Jim? And then I wait and I say nothing, nothing, and I'm gonna wait. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. I like Three. the trim T in the core, I think. Exactly. That's what happens. It usually takes about three painful seconds, you guys, for them to answer. And they're going to say one of a few things. I want everything. Or um, I think I want, just like what Jim, Jim did there. He, he, I think I want the trim T in the core, you know? <laughs> you know? So like, they're going to ask some random question about somebody they know, or, hey, my paycheck comes on Friday, or, you know, it'll be some statement, you guys. It's almost never, I don't want anything. I, I don't think I've ever had that in my 17 year history as a UFO, <laughs> okay? So it's always a question, it's always a follow-up. So thank you for attending. Let's get you started with a free customer account. Which products for you tonight? Now they get to talk, all right? They've been sitting and listening all day, uh, the whole night and they, they get to talk. Um, number, so this is where you're gonna answer any questions that may come up, but you're gonna put it in their cart. Let's go ahead and put this in your cart. Right. And, and that's what I say. Let's go ahead and put this in your cart. And, and if they're like, well, you know, hey, my paycheck doesn't show up till Friday or whatever. The no problem. The whole reason about putting in your cart is simply so you have easy access to it when you're ready to order. Or if you want to go back and look at all the details, you know, there's like one in four people that will not buy the first time that they hear about something. They won't. That's not their buying process. It doesn't matter how well you did. It doesn't matter how many questions you answer. It doesn't matter if you spend another hour and a half with them. They won't buy that night. So there's, but there's people like me. I'm the best person to invite to one of these parties. I buy everything, you know? <laughs> so, I'm like, it's just like, it's like dangerous for me to go to these things. I'm that person. Um, so you, you know, you're going to follow the system to capture as many sales as possible. I'm going to talk about some fun incentives on how to do that even better. So hold on. One of the things I love is order forms. Um, Dr. Tamara showed you the digestive health order form. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely be using it. I have a TLS order form. There's power in something they have to fill out or like just something physical. I always staple a blank sheet for notes and then the health survey and then the order form. I do it in that order and I staple them together and I give them a pen. And I said, the first sheets for your notes, um, I fill out the health survey. And then the last one is the order form. So they know, like, I mean, it's, it's like Lee said, you know, um, with motives events, it's like, here's your piece of paper to write down your wish list, write everything down you want. <laughs> Right. And that, I always do that with my motives events. Um, and so there's power in order forms. We have one, use it. Um, but let's talk about closing the sale on shop live. Obviously, we need to place the icon on the screen. Right. And you want to tell them specifically if you guys have been on any of the shop lives, you've heard every single person say this. Click on the link. It's going to take you right to the website. Right? And we all say that on purpose. Now, if you want to learn more, just simply add it to cart. So you have access to it later, right? Because these are pretty quick, right? I plan, um, I have a whole bunch of shop doc or uh, TLS shop lives coming up, you guys. I am going to be doing three TLS shop lives um, for a very specific reason here coming up. And um, so they're going to be, you know, they're going to be quick, you guys. They're not, they're not meant to be long events or they're, 
create some fun, a sense of urgency. And then the key here with these is following up, whether they placed an order in that moment or not, you're following up. And it should be within 24 hours. Uh, maybe you pre-schedule a call to get on with them. Hey, as soon as it's over, Lee, let's get on the phone, okay? Right? Um, or maybe it's like, hey, you know what? That's a little late for me. Let's talk first thing in the morning. Okay, great. What time should I call you, Dr. T? Um, 9 a.m., perfect. So you're, you're pre-scheduling that follow-up call so you can ask them what they liked best, if they had any questions, which products for you. Cullen, right? Um, I, I, that's my closing question. Which products for you? And then I just wait. No. Um, be, you know, in close contact. I'm going to tell them, tell them that you're going to be in close contact with them. Like, hey, I'm, I'm basically going to stalk you, Tina, until I know you're getting the most out of this product. Okay. You're going to hear from me a lot. I want to make sure you're taking it properly, that, you know, you're getting the maximum benefit. Is it okay if I follow up with you consistently? Right. You want to let them know that. Um, and one of the things that I have found is there is a couple different demographics. One is the person who's not comfortable with technology. And number two is the person who is maybe a little like used to being catered to and, or is like super busy. And when I feel like someone's kind of delaying on an order, but there isn't really any reason for it. I always ask, Hey, Jim, is it easier if I order those products for you? Yes, please. Oh my God. Do you know how many people say yes, please? Thank you. Oh my gosh. That'd be so helpful. <laughs> I just wrote down the name of someone I need to do that with as you were saying that. I know. And it's like, you know, they want the products and they just haven't ordered. And you're just like, you've done a couple persistent, friendly yeah. follow-ups and still nothing. And that's when I use that closing statement. And I almost always capture a sale, you guys. So close always be closing. It's the other ABC in our business. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now here are the fun incentives to increase conversions in the events. Okay. So um, I know Jim, you use uh, this a lot. Um, you want to feature testimonials, right? That's why we had on some tonight. That's always a great, re uh, great way. And live ones are better than, than picture ones. But if you, if you don't, we always have lots of TLS picture testimonials. Um, limited time specials. People love that. They love it and they take action on that. So maybe it's a 10% discount for purchasing that night. If you purchase tonight, you get 10% off. Or you get a, or Dr. T talked about the free sample. Or I love doing seasonal promotions. So, um, and, and, you know, putting a season or a theme on things is really, really important. So I love to spill the tea because if you didn't know, y'all, I learned this because I have a 20 year old nephew. And he, and he told me like the kids, when you say spill the tea, that means like, I want to hear the gossip. All right. I want to know the story. I didn't know that. Right. And so like, I'm old. Right. And so I was like, I felt so like hip when I knew what Maliva was doing. <laughs> um, but like spill the tea was a great playoff of like, Hey, we're actually going to give you tea and we're going to spill the tea and we're going to have some fun. So I love that. Anytime you can give something a theme or a season, it, it makes it special and it creates an incentive. Now I always like to do groups um, within TLS, I don't do very much one on one coaching at all. I keep people in groups um, and it's a deadline to join. There's always a deadline. And when there's a deadline now, are there some stragglers that come in later? Yeah, that that's OK. But most people need a deadline in order to take action. Um, and then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, uh, have little tickets for people as they participate or as they laugh. I'm like, I'm going to give you a ticket if you laugh at my stupid jokes. You know, I got you. I gave you a ticket when you showed up on time or early, you know, like I so I'm like giving tickets away and that's for drawing the prize later. Right. And so you do the close. You say, thank you so much for coming. You know, let's get your orders placed. We'll come back and we'll do a draw for the prizes. Nobody leaves because how many of you have ever had it where everybody just like Voof! zoom lines out the door? And you're like, why? Like, hey, we need to place orders. Um, A, your event either went too long or you didn't purposefully set up the whole ordering thing. And if you do prizes at the end, then they don't leave. 
It doesn't matter what it is. They want a chance to win it. (laughs) So you guys, I want to do a quick sneak peek because we're going to do a five week called shrink a size challenge into um, market American international convention. Why? Because I think some of you come out of the house. um, You've been spending two and a half years in sweatpants and you went, Oh, Oh no, I can't fit into those slacks. I can't fit into those jeans. Um, And so we're going to help you fit into that favorite pair of jeans in just five weeks and we've already proven it can be done. So so I'm very excited because we're going to start July 5th. The order deadline is June 29th. And yes, you will be required to order products. I promise you that if you follow this system, you will shrink a size in five weeks. Everybody who started was skeptical and we had 100% success rate in our pilot program. Why? Because they followed the system. You're going to get daily support, weekly check-ins, a fun educational shop live series, Um, It's going to be so much fun. You guys, we're focusing on healthy habits. We're simply focusing on if you, if you live a healthy lifestyle, guess what? You're going to shrink a size and you don't have to worry about the pounds. It's not about the pounds. All right. Um, So there's more info coming out. Um, It's going to be on the unfranchised blog, the TLS blog. It's going to be on the coaches page. Lots of information on our TLS Facebook coaches page for all UFOs. That's where I put everything you need to participate, to promote it, to market it. Um, and to get some people involved, you guys. So thanks so for, so much for letting me share today, Jim, um, and and m- the esteemed team, right? Oh, that, that was awesome, uh, Mel. Thank you for, for your sharing on there. I saw a lot of great comments on it and a lot of great things. I took some notes on it. I love everybody you mentioned, put, put it in the cart. That is so important, whether at the home or on, on a shop live doing that. Uh, and I love that. Is it easier if I order it for you? I also loved when you did the, you talked about, let's take a 15 minute break uh, so we can do our orders. Then we'll come back and do the prizes. Cause like you said, it makes sure people stay. Um, you know, let, let, let's move into next. Uh, you know, AC is not just the wizard behind everything. And Jason is not just the wizard behind everything. They also have a lot to share with us. So guys, you have something to share with us on some lists and reports that are going out to senior partners, right? That's right, Jim. And I, and I do want to say all along, you've heard every single presenter talking about the tools and resources. Um, you know, you get support materials, you get the coupon codes, you've got the unfranchised marketing app, you get the quizzes and questionnaires. So simply learning how to leverage the tools um, are going to help you. And, and Andrew and I are going to talk about other tools and how you can help manage your business and, and really help your partners retail their way to NAIC. Right. And, you know, this part's not going to take too long, really. It is, uh, you, Jim, you started talking tonight about the uh, the surveys that went out and the results that came back in. Um, well, w- w- you know, we are nine weeks away from, uh, from, from international convention. So we still got uh, some time to get as many people there as possible. And what we want to do is um, equip everybody, equip all the leadership, uh, you know, with the right data uh, to help them, uh, you know, take the next steps. We heard all this great stuff tonight. Um, so some of you um, will be receiving or have already received um, an email uh, with the, the, the names of people uh, in your organization that has said yes to, I want help in retailing my way to MAIC. Yeah. So, you know, Jim, you've got a list, uh, you know, a, a whole bunch of you guys uh, on this call got a list. And the, a, a great thing to do with that is to say, all right, let's 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 fall. Let's take a look at that list and let's see who's got their tickets purchased. Um, uh, let's follow up with them to see how their progress is going with retail in their way. Are they participating in any of the corporate uh, shop life sessions um, or, um, you, you know, I, I would, I would even uh, you know, recommend providing your support and, and giving your, you know, setting some time to sit down with them and say, let's host a home event. Let's, uh, you know, let's rent a community center. Let's host something to generate retail sales to get us through uh, to international convention. Um, however, if you did not receive an email or if you, if you don't receive one of those lists, uh, that's okay. Um, that, uh, you, you still can find lists from your back office. So Jason, maybe you could talk a little bit about the, uh, the, the network report, how to find that and you know, how to really navigate it to, to, to do what we want to do. Yeah, well, I think everyone here um, understands the importance and the power of getting people to this event. 
and we want as many people there as possible. And you want to identify some folks in your organization to, to help get there. And, and a lot of us don't know who those people are. We don't know if they answered the survey. So we're trying to assist you with that. So you know who to reach out to and, and make plans and strategize and, and take some of these things that were shared this evening to help retail. And, and not only just for the event, right, Jim, we want this to be a, a, a spur of growth in your entire business. So this is just a launching point um, in, in everything that we do. But every unfranchised owner that has UFMS has access to these incredible management reports. So when you go to your unfranchised.com and you go to the business tab, click on reports and management, if you select the network report, it gives you so much information um, about everyone in your organization. So uh, when you pull up the network report, it's going to give you every BDC that exists below your business. And for some of you, that is thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds. Um, so you want to take a look at some of these ways to filter it out. So you've got these little toggles in, in AC. You can, you can see right here, inactive 270 to 999 days. Do you want them on the report? Um, personally sponsored, do you want them on the report? You can toggle yes or no to help filter out. And what I love is you want to find out people that are qualified, right? You want to find out if they're qualified. And then as you scroll down, you'll also see those that are actively pursuing converting their spending into earning, which means that they are playing the game. How many of them are on unfranchised auto ship? Because that's going to give you a better opportunity to work with the players that want to play with you. Um, and that's just a starting point, right? But that would be where you're going to filter out that list and, and work with your top 10, top 20, top 30 UFOs. And I'll tell you right now, uh, it, it's the, the highest and best use of your time when you're doing call workshops and text workshops is using that time to reach deep into your organization to find out who needs help to retail their way to get to this incredible event that is coming so soon. Fantastic. And you know, someone had said, well, I don't, I, I didn't get a list. If you don't have anyone below you who answered the survey uh, asking for help retailing their way to the event, then you would not have received anything. So again, right. a lot, and, and someone else asked, where do I find the, the corporate shop lives? Well, the corporate shop lives right now are going out to two sets of people. They're going out to the people who answered the surveys and they're going out to the VVIPs. And that's because there's a limit of 250 on there that you, you can have. Now you can follow anybody on a, uh, on a shop live to be able to see those and, and, and be part of that. But we do, we do have to limit it. We're working to get a bigger account to be able to invite more people to those. But next time a survey comes out, make sure you read it, make sure you take it because that really did lead to, to everything we're talking about right now off of the surveys. Um, I'm going to wrap this because we've had a, a, a great night. Cullen, go ahead, buddy. Just one quick point on that too. It's really, it makes sure everybody, it really is just to your team. The shop live events are really for guests. So yeah. just wanted to make sure we throw that out as Thank well. You. So, it, you know, if you jump on there and, and you, we, we don't get a count actually. So even if you log in, you're not going to see exactly how many people unless you're going to count them all uh, in, in the attendee report there. But the bottom line is, it's really designed for you and every, all your to get guests into these. And so we don't want to use it up with UFOs on there because we're really trying to sell products for all of us. So anyways, remember that. that that's point. a great point. The shop lines, <laughs> shop lives were built and made again, going back to our base, base uh, thoughts, which was to get more people to convention by selling products to their, their customers. Uh, but with that being said, you guys did a, a great, great job tonight. So much information. I'm sure people are going to love uh, the replays with this as well. I appreciate you all taking a, a late night or in AC's case, an early morning uh, to be to be with us. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been on with us. Uh, incredible. I think we had about a 98% retention rate through the whole thing, which means you loved it. And uh, we look forward to you retailing your way to convention and you creating that base 10, seven strong. So thanks again, everyone. Appreciate you and appreciate everyone who's on with us. Take care. Thank you, Jen.